But where's the proof of white supremacy? You made the statement just now, where's the proof of it? Yeah, well, open your eyes and look. Look at the world. I don't see it. If it's true that black people were the first, mm -hmm. why is that important? Why is it important? Why is it important? Yes. You look at whites. Why is it important for them to be white? Why is it important what? Yeah, to them be white. White privilege, white this, white that. Everything you, you, you see, if you don't read black history books, you would think that, um, that whites built civilization, built this, did that, did, did, did everything. So when a black person, when a black child grows up in that type of environment, what, what does it make them feel like? How do they feel? You know, they say that, that, that black children are the first to walk, the first to read, the first to talk. They're, they're, they're the first to think about this, that, and the other. And this, is, this comes from, from different scientific books. Okay? Meaning that but, a black child is first to talk before a white child or any other child? Well, I mean, this is what I read. Did you believe that? Um, so you don't believe that then? I'm not saying I do or I'm not saying I don't. Uh. I haven't tested the children. Could be true, could be false. So if... If it's true that blacks were the first on earth, mm -hmm. God created the black man first, um, what happened to black people? Why are they so screwed up? And, and not all, not all, not all, not all, but most. They're just, they're not smart. They don't create. They destroy. What? They are even destroying the football team, the <laughs> NFL. Now, when you just screw up the football <laughs> Watch out. Yeah, when you mess up football, you know you got some issues. Um, does, uh, does that change black people in any way to know that they were first on earth? Why are, they, why are they smart enough to show that they were first? Why are they allowing everybody else to outsmart them and outdo them? The majority aren't taught anything about that. They don't talk about that in their families. They're, they're the majority. But there are, there are plenty of, white, of black folks who know something about their history, and there's some who know a lot about their history. Well, they may know about the history, but they're not productive people. You don't really see them. They're not building a rocket ship to the moon, or they're not building a nice neighborhood. They destroy a neighborhood. Even when the white man <laughs> gives them a nice neighborhood, they turn it into a ghetto. Like been? the fallen Messiah, uh -huh. uh, Obama. Okay. They gave Obama a chance, the first black president, to be the president of the greatest country in the world. And what did he do? Okay. Turn it into a ghetto. How come if they're so smart and they're the first, why don't they create rather than destroy? Well, um, you, going to another point you were talking about, uh, why don't they create different things? Uh, they, they did create back in the day. I'm they talking about created. now, like over the last well, thousand well, me, and 150 let years. Let me finish my point, okay? Not only did they, they, they create things on Earth, but did you know that there are pyramids on Mars? But we can't live in no pyramid. Are you saying they went up there and created How'd pyramids? How'd they get there? How'd they get there? Look, they, not only are there pyramids on Mars, they, they have them of, um, uh, put out in mathematical, form, the mathematical uh, maps, and then they have a mountain that was carved with a man's face and looked like he had an Egyptian-type garb on. Now, if you, if you are a Martian, and you're proud of your people, wouldn't you be making images of your people? Why make one of a humanoid? Well, how did you they know, get we don't make, we don't make pictures of, of Martians, so we know that there's a good possibility that the pyramids are from here, and so are the people. Have you seen them? I've seen uh, Richard Hoagland, who was part of the um, uh, space program, was showing them for a while, and then he was shut down. Hmm. Richard Hoagland's a white fellow. Oh, he is, and he was trying to prove that black people went to. You said not the moon? prove, but he was showing that on he was Mars? showing, yeah, on Mars that there's pyramids and and there's a human being's face on Mars. So if this is true, I still want to know what's wrong with black people now. They don't act like they're the smartest. They don't perform as though they're the smartest or the first. What are you talking about? Why are they leading the way in morality and building? Are you saying the majority beauty? now? You're saying the majority. Right, majority right. of blacks are screwed up. Okay. Well, not all, not all, not all, but most. If they're so smart, why don't, why don't they act like it? Um, are you, you know about suppression. But you about, can't suppress a smart man, especially if he's the first on earth. Mm -hmm. That cannot be done. Why is it happening to them if they're the first on earth? Um, that they're is so not smart. my specialty. I could not tell you why. 
But during the study, when you want to, after this kind of type of study, when you wonder, wow, if this is true, the first man that God made in His image was first on earth. Mm -hmm. What's wrong with him now that he's so defeated? See, this this is getting into politics. And no, I this is not politics. Know, well, I just want to understand what happened to their smartness. I'm a historian, and I talk about the history. Right. So, and what I happened to their smartness? I don't know. I don't know. And you don't wonder about that? Uh, of course. And you haven't come up with an answer? No, because that's not my that's not my thing. So you're not you're not writing and discovering in order to answer questions. You're just doing it just to be doing it. Of course not. Are you doing it to answer questions? I'm doing it Your to studies? educate our people and to let them know what they did. They had a wonderful past, and what they did before, they can do it again. But if they don't understand what went wrong, how can they do it again? They need to know why they are so mm -hmm. low on the totem pole mm -hmm. in order to overcome it, and you're not giving that answer. I, that's not my area. That's like in a car. One man doesn't build the, the motor and the seats and, and the color, and they said they specialize. And that's what I've done, I specialized. But information without solutions are no, is no good. Mm -hmm. So it's not good enough to just have information without solution. Everybody got information. I've got a solution. What's that? For, for, for um, to how to get out of this, and that is to educate our children from this tall about our history so that they are not in the frame of mind that I grew up with, that white is right and black is bad. Big lips, big noses are terrible. What? Then why is it then that the whites jump out is, is with the first piece, not whites, but some white folks want to get tans all the time. Why do they want to look like us if they don't want to be like us? Okay, what, what did all... Uh, um, I don't um, think they want to look like the blacks. What, they um, just want a nice tan. Mm, but they don't want to be nice that tan. black. Why? <laughs> because you can't see them, the skin too much. Right. And then, but then they have blacks who, who like to uh, put noxzema and different things on their <laughs> skin to get lighter. So it's both ways. You Does mentioned some want to be white if they're black, some want to be black if they're white. So. You mentioned white supremacists. You believe there's such a thing as white supremacy? What? Do you believe there's such a thing as white supremacy? Abs of course I do. What's the proof of it? What's the proof of it? Yes. Now we'll get into politics again. But you, this is not politics. This is about dealing with well, people's lives and stuff I don't like get that. into that. But where's the proof of white supremacy? You made the statement just now, where's the proof of it? Yeah, well, open your eyes and look. Look at the world. I don't see it. You don't see it? No. Well, good. You're happier than I am. I'm happier than you? Yes. And what do you mean by that? Because I see it every day. And give me one example of it. <laughs> the Klan. The Klans? The Klans. Ku Klux Klan. But that just was this angry, hateful group of people who were mad. Like Black Lives Matter. Mm -hmm. Black Lives Matter is a black, radical, evil, agitative organization that was founded by a bunch of black lesbians and black homosexuals and radical white social justice warriors. And are so you against them? They are, yeah, they're worse than the Klan. So are, those are, are you just against the lesbians and the homosexuals? I'm against the radical ones. There are some people who are stuck in the lifestyle and they don't want to be there. They just don't know how to overcome. But I'm against the radical ones okay. who are trying to indoctrinate. Uh, okay. You support homosexuality? <sighs> um, I, any human being can be whatever they want to be. And so you're, you're, are you saying that homosexuality is all right, it's fine? As long as they do whatever they want to do and don't harm anyone else. But they're harming themselves. Well. <laughs> it's a matter of opinion. You think they were created by God to be a homosexual? Do I think that? Yes. I have no idea. Uh, but you accept it as, do you accept it as a norm? As a norm? Yes. Do I accept it? As a norm or an abnormal lifestyle. When I grew up, I didn't know anything about homosexuals. Yeah, me either. So Not until I became a, a teenager. So do you see it as an abnormal lifestyle or a normal lifestyle? Now that you're an adult man. Well, it's, um, well, they talk, with the, when, from what I've read in the history books, the Greeks are the ones that uh, introduced that. But The Greeks? I, that's what I've read. I don't know if that's true or not. Were the Greeks black? Uh, the first, everything was black. Right, so that's what I'm asking. <laughs> so, so the Greeks were black and they were homosexuals? 
uh, I'm talking about Alexandra and those Greeks. Oh, after the black man. Uh, yeah. Uh. But, you know, I'm sure there, there might have been, uh, I'm sure there were homosexuals before white folks too, because, you know, we've been around so long, a lot of things have, have, have been, uh, what do you call it, um, uh, tried and, 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 and found that they were not good or whatever. I mean, it's, we've been here for so long, so many different things have been tried and, and thrown away, and some have been accepted. And so, uh, so your only proof of white supremacy is the uh, KKK? My only proof? Right, to you. you. You mentioned the KKK. Is there anything else to prove that white supremacy exists? Is there anything else? I, I, uh, you have to ask someone else that who was better versed on that, who would give you a, a better intelligent answer. But why do you believe this, something? When this you is have what I talk about right here. Why do you I don't get into that politics, and you're trying to get me into politics. No, it's not politics. Well, I don't, why do you I don't want to talk about that. that doesn't, I don't want to talk no about proof. that. I don't want to talk about that. That's, um, that's, that's not on my agenda. 